Hi everybody, okay, this is Dr. Jason with part two of the best way to exercise for fat burning. In other words, the best exercise, uh, the best way to exercise for hormonal health. So in the first video, we talked about how the goal of exercise to maximize fat burning is to do two things. One, you have to do an exercise that increases, increases the fat burning hormones specifically growth hormone, testosterone, adrenaline, and the way to do that, the only way to do that, is intensity. In other words, working out with high, high intensity on a scale of 1 to 10, 8, 9, 10, depending on your level of fitness, you may have to work up to that. But it's not moderate or chronic or long-term cardio. It's not getting on the treadmill or the recumbent bicycle or the elliptical and just working out modestly, getting your heart rate up, and sweating for 45 minutes. No, there's no way that you can do the intensity that's required for 45 minutes. You'll see in a second that the intensity that's required you can only do for like half a minute or so. Also, at the same time, you have to make sure that you don't uh, stress out the body. So you also simultaneously have to lower the fat storing hormones. Those would be primarily cortisol. And the way to do that is in the workout, make sure you're also paying attention or incorporating rest and recovery as well. How do we measure stress? Before you even attempt, and in the last video we talked about how so many of our clients, we have them do no exercise in the beginning until they're healthy enough. So the way we measure it's pretty simple. We ask them about their energy and their sleep. In other words, if a person's energy is real poor, including their mental focus, their brain fog, but just fatigue all the time. If their energy is low, if we ask them about their sleep, can't sleep, can't fall asleep, can't stay asleep through the night, wake up um, tired, even though they might have slept five, six, seven, eight hours, they still wake up uh, completely exhausted. Frankly, they shouldn't exercise at all. If someone's working out and they're constantly sore, also that's an indication that their body is not recovering from the stress of exercise. And so we would tell them to either work out less or work out not at all. But when a person's sleep and energy is good, then they can do what I'm about to tell you. Uh, one way to help, obviously, with a person whose stress and energy is high, I'm sorry, whose energy is low but their stress is high, is uh, to sleep, is to nap, is to make a more conscious effort to get more hours in, long, 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 long walks in nature, not on a hill, not getting your heart rate up, not talking on your cell phone. In other words, things that really decompress you, yoga, breath work, meditation, all those things are important. Then once sleep improves and energy is good, then you can maximize exercise by doing what I'm about to show you. So the example we use today, really it's all over the internet, you can Google this, it's either called uh, high interval, uh, high intensity interval training, HIIT. Uh, it's also known as burst training. You can also look up Tabata method, uh, peak eight, and they, all of these incorporate the overall concept, which is intensity followed by rest. But here's a perfect workout. Now the example I want to use today, really a great machine for this would be a recumbent bicycle. Those are the ones that you sit on with your legs out and you're just pedaling. So you have to get a certain resistance where it's not too hard, where you can't do what I'm about to explain. And it's, if it's too low, if the resistance is on zero, then you could do what I'm about to tell you and your heart rate won't increase at all. So once you sort of have this uh, arbitrary but meaningful resistance, this is the workout that you should do. Let's say it's a 20 minute workout, you're learning to do it one to three times a week. That's really enough. That's gonna burn more fat than working out seven days a week uh, the old way. Four minute warm up, that's just smart to do to warm up your muscles. That's why I say 16 minute workout. Now you see how I see, I hope you can see that. See how I write workout in quotes? Because most of that 16 minutes, you'll see you're not even working out, all right? But here's the idea. It's a 20 minute experience, four minutes of warming up, now you have the 16 minute workout. What are you gonna do on that machine? You can extend this to other types of machines, but I want you to visualize a very simple machine like a recumbent bicycle, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna work your butt off for 30 seconds. In other words, if there was somebody next to you, you wouldn't be able to speak to them. Your head is down, you have your hands on the grips, and you run as if somebody's trying to kill you. I mean, you just, you just get your heart rate up. Now, it's impossible to do that kind of intensity for a minute or five minutes or 45 minutes. That's the difference. The intensity is what's going to uh, trigger or turn on the growth hormone. But short of that, you, you just won't get that. 30 seconds of that, immediately rest. Now you could stop, the problem is on most machines at the gym, if you completely stop, which would be ideal, 
the machine might shut off. So just keep that in mind. So just work out hard for 30 seconds. You might have to look at your watch or look at a clock and then just almost stop and catch your breath. Now, 90 seconds may not be enough time for you to catch your breath, but this is a good model to try and model. In other words, 30 seconds followed by 90 seconds of rest, if you're following me, is two minutes. It's 120 seconds, and I would call that round one. That's round one of this 16-minute workout. So if that's two minutes, we need to repeat this eight times. Now, depending on your level of fitness, you may get to round number three and four and five and need to quit. If you get to round three or four and five and say, I don't know what Dr. Jason's talking about, this really isn't challenging at all, this is easy, then you're not working hard enough or the resistance is too low. But assuming that you're working hard enough and your heart is pounding, you should be able to eventually, maybe not on the very first one, but very soon work up to eight rounds of that. So you can see how if you repeat a two minute interval eight times, that's the 16 minute workout that I'm talking about, but the reason why I have this arrow is because I want people to get that during this 16 minute experience, they've only worked out for 30 seconds times eight rounds. That's four minutes of work, high intensity work. So if they're only working out for four minutes during that 16 minute experience, they're resting really most of the time. But this exercise here, will burn more fat. This four minute workout one to three times a week will help a people with their health and metabolism and burning fat more than what they're doing now which is 45 hour minute long workouts. Hope that's helped. Do your research. Bye bye for now. Hey everyone, Dr. Jason again. If you're getting some value from these videos, especially if you're getting a lot of value, then please like this video, send it to people you care about, subscribe to our channel, and most importantly, if you have some comments, if there's things that you'd like to see me answer, some questions or some topics that you haven't seen before, it'd be my personal challenge to help you out. So please leave a comment below. Thank you and bye-bye for now.